Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get really cool custom themes, custom text, and custom boot screens on your PS3. So all you need for this video is just the PS3 with the ability to install Package Manager. It really doesn't matter what custom firmware you're running. As long as you have Package Manager where you can install a package file, then this will work. You also just need a USB stick or an external hard drive just to plug into your PS3. So once you've got those things, go onto your PC, connect your USB or external hard drive and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so over on your computer, the link will be in the description, it's a Blueology page and the name of the package is called the XMB Mods Collection. So it was made in 2016 and um, personally I really like the stuff that this comes with. It comes with some really nice cold boots, XMB waves, PSN icons and XMB fonts. So what you want to do is just click download on the download link and the package file will begin downloading. So once the file has finished downloading, you can now go to your downloads folder on your PC and you'll be able to find the package file in there. So all you want to do, once your PS3's hard drive or USB drive has been connected to your PC, you simply just drag and drop it across. Now the file itself is about 30 megabytes, so you should have enough storage for that. And then now that is it for the PC, once it is copied across, so you can now disconnect your USB, put it back into your PS3, and I will show you guys how to install the package. Back on the PlayStation 3, you can now press X on Package Manager and scroll down and go to Install Package Files, just press X on that. Scroll all the way down to Standard and then press X again. So now we're going to look for the package, it was this one right here, PS3 Extra underscore X and B Mods. So we're just going to press X and then it's just going to install quickly. So it should say install complete, you can just press circle to go back and this is what it's going to look like. So it's just like a picture of a disk, all you do is just press X on it and it's going to start up. So your PS3 should go black just for a few seconds and then reboot, don't worry it's just mounting it as a disk. So you should have two now, uh, one should have a slightly different disk icon, so you just press X on that one and then it's going to come up with all of these themes. Um, so as you can see tons of different cold boots and what these things are is when you first power your PS3 on and you get that kind of like uh, logo um, it's basically one of these so you can choose which one you want um, there's quite a few there's even Nintendo on here um, let's just find let's get this hacker inside one I think that looks quite cool so you just press X on it and it's then going to install it to your system and um, saying do you want to restart press X for yes Okay, so there is some other stuff we can install as well. Um, we've also got complete themes on here, like these, uh, really cool looking custom themes. We can get some of these as well. I'm going to go for, there's so many on here to choose from. Um, they all look really like professional ones as well. I'm probably going to go for this blue one right here, so let's just apply that. So as you can see, that has applied already. It kind of looks like a blue flame kind of thing. It looks pretty cool, but let's go back into the list and let's see what else we can install. Um, I'm pretty sure you can install like PlayStation Network icons as well. Yeah, like all of these different ones. Uh, you can get some pretty cool ones on here, even Grand Theft Auto ones. And then you've also got fonts. So this is fonts um, completely for your PlayStation 3. Um, so if I choose one, I'll show you what it looks like. Let's go for this one right here. So you just press X on it. And let's just restart the software. And there you go, our PS3 now has a custom font on it. So let's also try out that cold boot as well. Um, let's just go to turn off the system and then we'll boot it back on and see if we get the custom cold boot image. Okay, so my PS3 is just starting up right now. And there you go guys, hack it inside and we get that custom image. So that is pretty cool. I kind of like the cold boots. Um, I'm also just gonna switch account quickly. 
Also guys, keep in mind, it depends on what account you do it on. Uh, this is my main account right here. As you can see, it's already got a theme on, um, so it just depends what account you make the changes to. If I switch back to this account, I'm pretty sure this is the one I was doing it on. There you go, then we just get uh, this kind of theme back. Nice thing about this is you can just apply all the original um, official things as well, um, like normal waves and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty cool software. I really like it. I'm just going to put um, a different theme wave back on. Let's just try this one. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully I have some more PS3 tutorials coming out. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.